you're going to get good salaries. That's not the issue, and that's not what this is about. This is about fast tracking you on how to be a leader. Hopefully, I'll leave some seeds today because nobody talked to us when we were in IIT like this, because we didn't have too many alumni. Okay. Execution. You know, you can go from vision, but it takes a lot of planning. Process. More, it, depending on the culture, and India is one of them, we are not very good with process. Example, you go to the restroom, there's no toilet paper. Why? Whoever was supposed to do their job didn't do their job. But whoever was supposed to manage that did not have a process. It's two part. It's two part. How many times when there is food, we all rush to the table? At the same time, the person who is serving the food does not announce that there is enough food for everybody. Please stand in line. So it is really two part. Okay? So you have to have process. Tenacity. Execution will always falter. There will always be problems. But you have to go at it and go at it and go at it. You are getting the idea, right? Entrepreneurs do this. Excellence. Never do anything, anything that is not world standards. It's a waste of time and your intellect. You get it? Just think about it, right? The guy who said that toilet cleanliness is contextual for the Indian uh, games, whatever games that was, Commonwealth Games. What an idiot. What an idiot. He spoiled the reputation of the country. So the fact that he's even thinking like that is stupid. And he brought the entire nation down with one statement. So don't ever compromise on standards, ever. And always ask yourself, what are global standards? Today you have visibility to global standards and global, you know, whatever people in other countries achieve through television, through the computer, and so on. So be curious, figure out what it is, and don't compromise. That's how the top companies in India also were built. Oberai was that way, the Tatas were that way at that time. Okay? Otherwise, you cannot build a nation. So the question then comes for all of us, am I a student of leadership? You need to ask yourself, what does that mean? Any, any guesses? What does it mean to be a student of leadership? Say it again loudly. Learning new things, yeah? Yeah, so we're going to go through an exercise, okay? So I'm going to do, show a video. You all have a piece of paper, right? <clears throat> Write down what you're observing. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And Apple has been, well, first of all, one's very fortunate if you get to work on just one of these in your career. Apple has been very fortunate. It's been able to introduce a few of these into the world. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple. It changed the whole computer industry. In 2001, we introduced the first iPod. And it didn't, just, it didn't just change the way we all listen to music. It changed the entire music industry. Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls.
The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And here it is. guys get it <laughs> so that's part of the iPod launch and uh, there was a you know he had done a first he showed that and then of course obviously he later on released the thing so what do you see in there all right you're going to answer now we're not going home otherwise okay I'm a pretty tenacious guy all right, I want a show of hands and you're going to say it. You're going to stand up and you're going to say it. Okay, go ahead. Loudly. Yeah. Right. Right. So he was inspiring. Fantastic. What's next? Right. He's able to connect with the people. Notice how he said three times. You know, a phone, this thing, this thing, and he says, you get it. So he's making sure. Notice the number of times I tell you, energy, energy, and I'm waiting for you guys to connect. Okay? If you want to sit in the aisles, that's fine. It's up to you. Okay? What else? Absolutely. 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 He's positioning that. Yes, sir. So there's a lot of intonation. There's a lot of drama. Yeah. What else? Correct. Absolutely. So he told a story and he created a continuum and a timeline. That's the equivalent of a Facebook timeline. Yeah. On the side. Right. Absolutely. Like a phone with a dial, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I haven't supported any. This side is kind of quiet. What's happening? You didn't. You're bored or what? Did you get pakodas or no? <laughs> Come on. What's happening? Okay. There's the lady there. Okay. Is it better than mine or it's not so there? <laughs> Was that a hint? <laughs> You're right. Okay. Yes, sir. Correct. So you're getting it, right? How many of you have seen this iPod launch? I have a point to add. You have a point to add. Please. Absolutely. 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 One last one. Go ahead. Right word. Very nice. So, this presentation was not really the making of the iPod, the history and all that. It's really about the way he presented it. 
And remember, the topic was, am I a student of leadership? So what attributes of leadership in the wheel did you, were you picked up? One of them he said, inspiring. What else? Storytelling. Communication, storytelling, vision. So you see how these things manifest. Now let me ask you a simple question. Steve Jobs is very gifted, not like me. Um, how long do you think he's practiced this? Sorry? Okay, pretty good. Who else? What else? Never? Quite good. Who said never? Raise your hands. Okay. Keep your hands up. Who else? Yes, yes, you, you, had, you had something to say. Never. Who else? Many is not good enough. Give me a number. 150 times, some number. Okay. He practiced this 30 days. That's 30 days. Friends, it doesn't happen by magic. If there's one takeaway that you can have is it's even gifted people, it doesn't happen by magic. It's a lot of hard work. Do you know how many times I practice my presentation? 10 times. And I'll tell you why in a second as to why I did that. You'll understand the context. That's the point. Just like Tendulkar practices over and over and over in the nets, or Dravid practices over and over in the nets, it's the same thing with these things. Even gifted people, if they can practice, we can practice. Okay? It's all behind the seats, behind the scenes, hard work. Obama, he's got a teleprompter, but still he practices. Clinton, he writes his own speech, he practices. Okay? So, we're going to do another exercise quickly. Gandhi, and we can do this verbally if you like. When you think of Gandhi, what are the areas that manifest? Let's go one by one. Vision and strategy. Of course. Inspire. How did he inspire people? What did he do? Sorry? Have you heard Gandhi's speeches? Have you actually heard Gandhi's speeches? No, have you heard Gandhi's speeches on YouTube? Sorry? Yeah, he actually gave a speech in Italy, in English, that has actually been translated. It's on YouTube. I would encourage you to look at it. There aren't that, unfortunately, there aren't that many archives that we can listen to. Okay, so what else? He was a communicator, good communicator. What else did he do for communication? Say it again. He's write letters. What else? Right, he would touch people one by one. He actually wrote almost daily for a newspaper. He had released his own newspaper. Gandhi wrote many books. Go look in Wikipedia. Many, many books. People forget he was a smart dude. He was a very, very smart dude. He was a lawyer. We forget that. We think he's a saint. He was a shrewd lawyer. He is no different from Obama. No different from Clinton. No different from Hillary Clinton. They've all used the power of communication, the gift of the gab, as well as the ability to write. 